What'd you just say? Um, I don't recall the channel saying me and you. Why don't you do your own thing? <laughs> well, you don't want to be in the vlogs anymore. That's what, what I'm saying. I'm a guest on your show, okay? <laughs> Why don't you just be your own star for once, okay? Oh my god. Good morning, guys. It is day seven, which means it's halfway through quarantine. Woo! <laughs> Woo! The other day she was like, it'll make you feel better if you just say, woo! And I was like, Whoa. And I go louder. She's like, say it louder. I said it as loud as I possibly could. Security was probably like, what I go, are you doing in there? Do you there? feel good? I did feel good. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> woo! But louder. <laughs> but today's day seven, which is great because I feel like day five and six, last couple days, really hard. Not gonna yeah. lie. Really, really hard. Just due to some online negativity that I don't ever want to speak about ever again. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but we're doing good. We're fine now. We had a and really good breakfast today. They did. They gave us a, oh. actually a lit breakfast. They gave us potatoes with, um, was it? Zucchini in it? Zucchini in it, yeah. Which so I good. Had, it was like random. grilled. It was really good. And then they gave us, they've been getting, giving us these croissants. Amazing. So I good. love them so much. Same. And then they gave us an apple, a cutie, and... What? Some bread, which I put peanut butter on, because we bought oh, yeah, some groceries two, as well. Two pieces of bread. Yeah, well, my sister did. She bought us groceries. Cereal which has been amazing. and milk. It was literally the biggest meal that I've ever seen. Like, I was like, is I was this like, Christmas? whoa, this is what I need. This is what you get when you've been here for a whole week. Yeah. <gasps> what? We're doing laundry right now, so I think the tub is that it's mm, should be nearly at its max capacity. Let me really? show you guys how we're doing laundry. <laughs> Do with laundry. Okay, I'm gonna take this off. Yeah, we're gonna be soaking the clothes in the bath, um, and then this little clothesline thing, which I'll show you, it just comes out of here, which I've never seen in hotels. It's in every single hotel. Sorry. What? Yeah. I've never seen a thing like that. Okay, that's okay. I'm just, <laughs> yeah, so they, kind of fun to do like this. they gave us some cloths and some like sponges and laundry soap and dish soap and stuff, which I didn't realize was even there until I looked the underneath. I put it in there. I'm excited to have some underwear. So because we thought we were going to be driving back from Sydney to Brisbane, I was like, who cares? We don't have to worry about our bags anymore. So we opened them all and took all of our shit out. Like not everything, like these ones are all still packed. But we took out obviously clothes, underwear, stuff like that. <laughs> and then found out like a couple of days ago that we actually can't drive because the borders are like a hard close. So we will be flying back. Um, so I sorted that out, booked our flights and stuff. Whew, sick of spending money, I can tell you that. How's the laundry going, babe? Are you just gonna put all the darks in? Uh, I just put... I just put a couple more stuff in, like underwear and... Good idea. Zoe, literally every day, is like, What do you need underwear? Babe, can you give me all underwear? Can you please You're me making me underwear? sound crazy. She literally never wears underwear, ever. I, okay, when I'm in you my don't. own... Yeah, well, when I'm in my own home, I don't wear underwear. And that's fine. But I'm just like, I wake up in the morning, get freshly changed. When I go to bed, fresh pair. Yeah, but Zoe She's goes like, I'm just getting like, naked all the time. Yeah, but Zoe goes through like two things of underwear like a day. every day. Of course. Two. I like you to feel fresh. To. I know yeah. I don't need it. I just like to feel fresh. Yeah, and then you ask me, babe, I need more underwear. And I'm like, maybe if you didn't wear two underwears a day, then you wouldn't, you'd you be behind. What did you say to me before that I smell like? Different. You smell like another girl. <laughs> I laid down onto the bed next to her and I was like doing something on my phone. She literally grabs my face and goes, I'm like, what? And she's like, you smell different. I was like, okay. I'm like what? She's like, you smell like another girl. Where, where have you been? I'm like, I've been locked in a room for seven days. Where have you been? Mm. What do you want to do today? I don't know. You want to play a card game with me? Okay. Have you ever played Rummy? No. You never played Rummy? No, I don't think so. I'm gonna hustle you so hard. Let's play for our lunch. I just remember they knocked on our door before, which means it's probably my coffee delivery. Oh, go get it. I'm so excited. Okay. I have already drank all the instant coffee that was in here because I'm trying not to like waste money. Let's get my coffee. Here we go. It's okay. Um, we have to get there early because we have to re-weigh all of our bags again. We do, yeah. So it's fine. I'll just get there a little bit earlier. You know what else is super interesting is that in America they don't um have their carry-on checked. So we got onto the plane. Well, first off, with our carry-on weighing like freaking 40 pounds. Okay, Zoe goes, Zoe's worried about our carry-ons. And I was like, why are you weighing them? They don't weigh them. I kept weighing them. Like, I'm like, these aren't seven kilos. These are way over. I, like, I don't know what that means, but they don't weigh your carry-ons. <laughs> and then matter. her mom comes out and she's like, what are you talking about? They don't weigh carry-on. I was like, 
Wait, what? Are you serious? Ours is like super strict. So we have carry-on, two bags of carry-on and a skateboard that are like literally collectively probably like 60 pounds, which I think is like, I don't even know. I'm so bad at it. Maybe 30 kilos. I don't know. I don't know what it actually is, but it's a lot. Like our carry-on is very heavy. So I feel like we're actually going to have to either get rid of some stuff or when I get to the airport, I'm going to have to like pay for the oversized charges, which like, I can't wait for. Also, I was growing out my eyebrows, but I think I need to do it. What? Why? Because you know how sometimes when you do your eyebrows, they get too thin? It's mm. like, I should shape them up now. That way, if I went a little too overboard, that they can grow back in a week. Sure. You don't like this stuff that much? It's not that. It's not that good, but it's instant coffee, so it was never going to be good. So I don't run with that quote and say that Even I complained about the coffee. Anyway. So, all right, so I just set this up here because a couple of you guys sent me questions on Instagram, so I wanted to reply to them um, without having to do it all on Instagram. It takes super long. What? I'm trying to sit right here. You can sit wherever you want. Do you want me to move? No. Do you want to sit on the bed? You didn't realize that Zoe didn't want to film with me. No. I always no. want to... So someone said, are you planning on traveling after Corona chills the f*** out? No, not right away. I, I mean, think we're just gonna stay put. Yeah, I think I just want to chill, be home on the Gold Coast with my family, relax, stay safe. And of course, once the time comes and traveling opens up again, of course I will want to do that. I think it's just already been a struggle for us to get here. Yeah. I think we should just chill and stay here. We've already been through a really stressful travel experience, as you would have seen. Um, on my traveling vlog that I put up, but yeah, it was pretty hard. So I'm just like, I want to just relax and get settled and get everything that we want to be doing going here. Where would you be in life if Corona was never a thing? Honestly, I feel like we'd still be in the US. Yeah. We would still be in the US, probably still living in Winnetka and just traveling around the US. Like I really wanted to go to Portland. I really wanted to go to California with you. Mm -hmm. We would go back to Arizona again. Honestly, we would have just probably traveled the US. That's I wanted what to take her to Miami. Mm. I know you've probably told this story before, but did you and Bianca meet on Instagram? Yes, we did. Yes, we have told the story. I think it was in our girlfriend tag video. Our that we first told it. video that we've ever done. Was that the video, the video we explained that? Go and watch the girlfriend tag video. It's on my other channel. That's the one that I think we told our story. But yes, we did meet on Instagram. No, we don't know who followed who first. But she slid into my DMs. Yeah, but I think Zoe followed me first. I, I know for a fact. You don't know for a fact. Yeah, I do. If you emailed Instagram, they would say that you followed me first. And I, I would, would say, I knew it. I would love to email Instagram. By that you way. have. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't email them that. I emailed them asking for like my data. And they gave me a heap of it, but that wasn't included. But like the dates you followed people wasn't included. So if you work for Instagram, let us know. <laughs> <laughs> Advice for he a healthy relationship, LGBTQ+. You're both an inspiring couple. Thank really you. Um, I think advice for a healthy relationship, regardless of your sexual orientation, is just to like focus on the relationship, like work on that. Don't think about outside views of any kind, whether it's LGBT views or like um, your parents' view of your partner or like your friends or anything. Just focus on your relationship. Focus on yeah. your loved one. I think mine is communication. Mm. Like if you're feeling a type of way, no matter what, how you're feeling in that moment, you should always express it. Sometimes Definitely. I feel like I used to, when I was younger, I used to bury how I felt mm. and then have realized that that was actually a disservice to my relationship because it did more harm than it did good. Sure. Because it's just like in your, if you can just vent it out, then you'll feel better. But if you hold it in, then you're always going to feel like that. And mm -hmm. then you're just going to have pent up like resentment or anger towards that person that you shouldn't have, you should be able to vent how you actually feel. Yeah, and tell your partner, like tell them, communicate with them, don't communicate with other people. It's not about going around to all your friends and being like, like they did this, she said this, he's like this, like tell them, tell your partner, because your friends are not going to fix that. They're just going to take in that negativity and then probably unconsciously use it against you later when you're talking about your relationship. So No, I always try to keep, even... I think I did this in my past and I realized this with Zoe that I never wanted to do this. Anything that we have had a disagreement with or mm. anything that we, like if we fight had or something. Had a tiff about. Yeah, which is never normally, we don't really ever fight, but if Not we really. do disagree, I... Except this morning when you tried to ram your fingers into my butt crack. And I said, can you not do that? And she said, I like doing it, so I'm going to do it. And I said, fine. And I ignored her and walked over there. And I was cleaning up and I put a tissue box up on that table. She comes over and just goes. If you could just 
describe me as an animal, I would be a cat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, the next one is something that we get asked a lot, and I do reply to it all the time, but I'm just going to say it again. Um, a lot of people ask where we get our clothes from, which firstly, to me, I'm just like, what is this clothes aren't that cool. But secondly, I will say it again, all of our clothes are literally from thrift stores. Like this is from a thrift store in the US, and I'm not kidding you, it was $1.50, and they were having a 50% off sale, and it was marked down to 75 cents. And this is an actual vintage Nike t-shirt that was 75 cents. Like, I'm not kidding, that's how cheap it was. Oh. And this is from Nick. <laughs> and I just like the color of it because it's a really faded like. Yeah. But they always train it's clothes. my favorite um, pajama shirt. And I'm still in my pajamas. Is quarantine as hard as you thought it would be? Um, yeah. It's yeah. harder. I'm I not mean, we lie. knew we would be quarantining. Of course, we those... knew we were going to be in these circumstances, yeah. but you just. I feel like you can't mentally prepare for it. You can physically prepare and bring games and books and. We just didn't really have room for that in our luggage. Yeah, but we had no, no other room for stuff. Yeah, mentally, I didn't think it would be as hard as Neither. it is. I was like, hell yeah, really we get is. to relax, like just chill for two weeks before we like go out and like see all my friends and family again. But honestly, even on like day one, I was like, this is really hard. Like to not have, not be able to go outside and like be in. Just to the get sun. fresh air, even if it's literally like we used to, like I said, go in my at my mom's. We'd go in the backyard and have our mm. coffee, like coffee or coffee, and I yeah. drink water, but. Just being able to get the fresh air on your face yeah. for even like a second. Which is not to say in any way that I'm not grateful for where we're staying. Because yeah. that was kind of like why I stopped vlogging for a bit because so many people were just nagging at me and saying that I was complaining and bitching about being here and I'm like <sighs> When will you prank Bianca? Um she pranks me every day. I do sometimes, but some of them that I get suggested to prank her with are too mean and I don't think you understand how sensitive she is and I could not do I'm that. I'm a sensitive little baby, I guys. could not do some of the pranks to her. She would literally cry. So many of you guys have been saying, like, do the breakup prank. Where you, like, break up with someone and film it. And I don't like, know if you guys kidding. know this, but I literally moved a whole different country. If someone broke up with me, I would be like, fine, I'm going back. <laughs> <laughs> like... I would never do that to you. Yeah, if you broke up with me, I'd break my heart. Uh, hey, I'm getting sensitive even talking about this <laughs> prank. And that's why I don't prank her, guys. Uh, we can do little pranks. I do little but... ones like call you by your real name. And even, even that, that one. <laughs> she's like, what? Go and watch my TikTok of that. It's so funny. I go back and watch that TikTok literally all the time. Really? Yeah, it's so funny. All right, and this is going to be the last one. What did I miss most about Australia? Um, honestly the nature like I feel like it was just like the nature and the beaches and stuff because where we were in Chicago We were like we were right by the lake. We we're pretty much on the lake So we could go and see that all the time, but the beaches are just not the same like first of all you have to pay for them You gotta pay to go there They're ridiculous. expensive. It's They're not, not cheap. cheap. You gotta pay like to have like a yearly Tag to be able to even go to the beaches and I was just like no I'm not paying to go to the beach on a lake. It's a nasty ass crappy little beach. Yeah. I want me to pay for it. If you're American, I'm American, so I can say this. But the beaches in Australia are just like, don't even compare to our beaches. Like, we shouldn't be able to call our beaches the <laughs> No, beach especially not the ones in Chicago. they are so bad. I mean, I'm sure on the west coast, like in California, there are beaches that are much more beautiful than yeah, what we're in you've Chicago. Been, you've been to California. Yeah, I've, I've been to those you, beaches. You are nowhere near as good. Exactly, like, that's what I'm obviously, saying. Obviously, yeah. They're good, but that they're not nearly as good. Yeah. So yeah, I just feel like I was always really missing the beaches, and I haven't been to the beach in eight months now. Uh, I may go for a swim, honestly. Really? Yeah, I might dive in the ocean. I'll just vlog so. it, guys. So we'll vlog when we go to the beach for the first time, so you can actually see what we're talking about. Mm. Gold Coast beaches are like no other. And I obviously did miss my family. Sorry, my family's watching this. I did miss. I thought it was going to be your family first. I think when <laughs> you go back and you look at this, I was in my head. I'm going to feel rude. No, in, I, in I obviously did. I miss my family. But I can call them on the phone. I can call the beach on the phone. <laughs> and okay. I, I love you. I love you. I love you. Guess what? Lunch is going to be here soon. Lunch is going to be here soon. Oh, lunch is here in 20 minutes. Wow. The day's just flown by. Well, um, yeah, that's pretty much going to be it because I feel like after we added these questions, it's going to be a pretty long vlog. So thank you guys so much for watching this quarantine vlog and all of our other ones. And... Wow, I look great.
I still see. look like a toe in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> Whether I was a toe in America, I brought that toe to Australia. You're so silly. Love you. Love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. <laughs>